Welcome everyone to a new episode of a Free Game Friday. I'm your host, Maverick Excited 8 and if you don't know what Free Game Friday is, basically every Friday we kind of go over and look around on the interwebs for some free games that y'all can play, and we check them out and tell you if, you're worth, if it's worth the time. This week we are talking about uh, a kind of a limited time Free Game Friday called Papers, Please. Now, the reason I say limited time is because it's an open beta right now, so everyone can participate, but, you know, betas only last for so long, so, you know, if you can, jump on it. It's definitely worth a look. Now, Papers, Please is a really, really simple uh, look, really simple concept. Basically, you play Border Patrol for this country, this this made-up country, and all you do is you sit in a toll booth and accept the documents, verify if they're illegitimate, and then either you know approve or deny the entry to the country. Now, that may seem extremely simple in concept, and it is. Uh, they start you off really easy. Basically, all you need to do is the very first the very first level has you just letting in people from your own country that you're actually at the border of. So people, you know, coming in from out the outside with a valid permit to your country are allowed into the a lot of people allowed in the uh, the country and everyone else is denied. So really simple concept, really simple in the beginning, but that's where it starts to step it up and get very difficult. Now this game's just all about observation. It's all about can you spot what is wrong with, or what is right, or what is wrong with the identification or the permit or whatever these people give you, and then your decision to either let them into the country or deny them access to the country. Now you may be thinking, you know, what what's in it for me? What 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 do I get out of you know, letting someone in or you know or, or not letting someone into the country? And the concept is kind of like a heart tug for what what they do. It's 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 interesting because. They give you an imaginary family: a mother, a son, and a son, or a mother-in-law, son, a couple other things that you have to basically quote unquote provide for. Now that kind of turns the pressure on for you. You have to kind of balance the speed and the uh, possible inaccuracy of your observations in order to kind of oh I don't, I don't know if I'm out of money to let me make my you know mother-in-law and son and wife survive or you know go without food or go without heat if I you know to, if I take too long looking at this guy's application maybe I'll just stamp it and go ahead but you know that's that's the balance you got to strike and you got to find because if you mess up too much they'll start just giving you citations for messing up. And you'll see, <laughs> see watching the video right now, I get a citation for being a little, for just, a, just missing a really simple thing that I should have caught. And you get basically two strikes. You The first strike, no, nothing happens, gives you a warning. Second strike, you get another warning that says, you know, this is, this is the only warning, your last warning you're going to get. If you make another mistake, they're going to penalize you. And every time you get penalized, it's uh, after that point, it's minus five, uh, whatever the theoretical money ex you're using. And... You mess up. You don't make it all. Uh, you know, you make a minus money, and that affects your bottom line. And you know, you may not be able to feed your kids. Uh, so, it it kind of pulls out your heartstrings a little bit just to get you that incentive to actually, you know, go be a little more uh, observant in what you're doing. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the the game starts you off easy, but will you know get harder and harder with each uh, level that you pass and uh, right off the bat uh, one of the first things that happens is terrorist attacks hit at, at your checkpoint and you have to then step up your your uh, entry to a uh, barrier to entry people to get in your uh, your country need to give you something else and they have to give you a, a entry ticket so now you got that's another thing you got to look at is the entry ticket valid does it have the right date is that correct and that just, you know, it keeps getting harder and harder from there. And then you need a whole n different thing the next time something happens. Then there's a murderer on the loose, and you got to watch for him. And so, you know, you never know what's going to happen, so you kind of have to really be paying attention. Luckily, they do make it easier for you by giving you a, uh, like, rule book that tells you what you're supposed to look for if they don't have anything or what 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 they're supposed to have what they're not supposed to have and also it gives you all the provinces and surrounding countries that uh, data so you can match it up and to make sure okay these guys this guy has this there's a province called this in this country okay he's, he's allowed in let me stamp him through and one of the coolest parts about the uh, game that makes you feel like you're an actual immigration officer is when you see there's some sort of discrepancy in whatever the documents are that they're handing you. 
for instance, this person doesn't look like a female to me. So I'm immediately like, okay, this guy, I don't, I don't this guy, this, this, this girl, quote unquote, what it says on the passport, it says it's female. I don't, I don't believe it. So it has this little check for discrepancies button that you can hit, and you match up the data uh, for whatever you're trying to see a discrepancy for. So in this case, I think this person's a female or a male as opposed to a female, which is marked on the passport. So I select the female section of the passport and select the person's face. And it'll, you know, boop, 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 and tell you if, hey, you're right, there's some kind of discrepancy here. What the heck's going on? Then you can interrogate them and figure out, okay, well, I don't, I, you, you don't look like a female to me. What's up with that? You know, they'll give you an excuse or maybe they'll just be like, whatever. So then you got to make a judgment call. Is this, you know, is this legit? Is this not legit? So you, you either deny them or give them access. And you, again, you got to be careful that you do because if you mess up, you're going to get a citation or it could be worse. If you've already got a couple citations, you'll just get penalized. So it, you really have to pay attention. The simplest thing you can mess up on and we'll just freaking give you a citation for. I've made a lot of stupid mistakes in this game just because like I just, Oh, it's not the right date on this entry permit. Didn't even catch it. Let them through and citation. Bam. Well, the farther you progress in the game, the more uh, abilities and ways you can uh, investigate the people coming to your uh, booth become. And uh, one of the cool things is you get to, uh, if the alias, their alias is wrong or, you know, they don't have the same name on two of the documents that they give you, you can be like, okay, hold up. Why are your names the same, uh, different? And they'll be like, oh, you know, that's I have another name. So then it'll pop down and say, fingerprint them. So you get to fingerprint the people and see, okay, you know, is this, is this, these fingerprints match up with the database? Do they have any known aliases? You know, okay, they got known aliases. Okay, this guy's good. Just have them through. So it gets really complicated really quickly on such a simple concept. And you, have, you just have to be paying attention because if you're not, then you're just going to get passed up and you're going to end up getting a bunch of citations. Now, the game is extremely addicting. I found, easily found myself playing for a couple hours, and and it, it fits my kind of uh, game want. Is it make it challenging, make it addicting? Uh, if you mess up, you know, no mercy. You get a couple strikes and it's out. So check it out. Again, it's free for now. It is an open beta still. There aren't too many bugs. It seems to run, fa you know, fairly smoothly. I recommend it to anybody who likes those kind of uh, uh, spot what's wrong, spot what's missing, uh, addicting games. It's very casual. You can easily pause it pretty much any time and just, you know, hit. it'll save, hit the main menu, go out, come back when you're ready. Very cool game to pick up real quick. It's Again, it's free. Check it out. Open beta. Also, if you do like the game, I would suggest going to the, the Steam Greenlight uh, uh, page they have for it. I'll put that in the annotations. Go ahead and click on it and, you know, say, yes, I support these guys. I'd pay money to see it on Steam and uh, give them your support. It is actually a really fun game, real fun, simple game. Uh, great to play. I, I'd wish it has a mobile, had a mobile version. Oh man, I'd I'd play the crap out of that. Easy to play on long trips or whatever. Great game. So check it out. I've been Maverick State today. This has been a free game Friday. I hope you all enjoy. Please post in the comments if you see another game on the internet that you'd like to see on a free game Friday or any game you'd like to talk about. We'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks a lot, everybody. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Share it. Peace.